it will no longer happen should our people in Benue State be subjected to further attacks, I am also informing Governor Autumn of Benue State. I will make sure that ESN returns to that very area. Or should I say, come out of the bushes to confront whoever comes against the children of the Most High God Elohim in heaven. This is a warning to all of you. For those of you that specialize, in, should I say, in twisting the obvious, in turning truth into lies. I never claimed the whole of Benway State. You people carved Igbo people into Benway, which is unacceptable. We are in an era, not that of the old compromised and discredited Ohanes and Diaramandu, which not in that very era. No, we are not in that anymore. We are not in the era of compromised governors in the pocket of the Fulani Caliphate. No, we are now in the era of IPOB and no inch of territory belonging to traditional, should I say, ethnicities making up Biafra will be surrendered to anybody now. And in Benue State, we have touched them. While they were discussing that, uh, don't come to Benue, we're already on the ground in Benue State, in the world Benue. And we are not in Benue State that doesn't belong to us. We are in Igbo parts of Benue State, Igbo communities of Benue State. And we are there to defend them and that is precisely what we are going to do and nobody is going to discourage us otherwise we are making it very clear today that the eastern security network is on the ground we are on the ground in benway state and in every part of Biafalan for that matter we are in cross river we are in aquaibon we are in biosa everywhere it is happening anywhere we confront fulani headsmen these terrorists we will drive them away be rest assured we are not going to rest one iota until our farmlands, our homes, and our forests are secure. Danjuma himself, General Tiwa Danjuma himself, testified before the British Parliament that the army of Nigeria and the police are colluding in the conquest of indigenous populations in Nigeria. And we are no exception to that very horrible and sinister conspiracy. The police we have in our land are terrorists in uniform. The army we have in Biafra land are basically terrorists. They are there to aid and to support Fulani Janja with advancement to the Atlantic Ocean. And we are there to stop them. And we are stopping them and will continue to stop them. A few days ago, as I said, we embedded our men and women of the Northern Command of Eastern Security Network. When we said Northern Command, people were confused. Biafra land is a nation. We have Northern Biafra, we have Central, we have the South, which is the coastal region, we have the East, and we have the West. When I talk about the Northern Command, I'm talking about the Northern part of Biafra land, which incidentally starts from Benue State. So we are right to be there. If you don't want us to be in Benway State, quietly go back to Abuja and appeal to them. Tell them to release Igbo people in Benway and carve them back into a growing state where they should belong, or any good state as the case may be. Therefore, anybody, you know, one thing about Nigeria is that they tend to defend the aggressor. It's in the, it's in the, it is in the DNA in Nigeria to always support evil. That is why this very newspaper publication, I don't have a means of putting it here on Instagram where I am broadcasting live, where you can see my face and my facial expression, but it, is, it will be on my Facebook page. If you go there, you will see it. This publication was made on January 23 of 2021, this very year. It is a front page news by Vanguard. I want you to understand how an average Nigerian thinks, how the reason why I think that Nigeria itself is a curse upon humanity. There on the front page you will see, we will kill all policemen and take over a do state, full and agent Jawid. Those they claim are foreigners. These people they told us are foreigners. They come from Mali, from, from, from Senegal, from Gambia, from heaven knows where, from Niger, from Chad, from Latin Cameroons. But they are in Nigeria killing people. After killing us, they will not turn around and tell us to absorb them into our communities. 
That is why anybody, any Igwe, any PG, any greedy, avaricious fool, stupid enough to give any of our land to Fulani Janjaweed, you are finished. There was a man in Enugu that tried to say nonsense. Go and ask him where he is today. We take no prisoners. You see, the land of Biafra must be defended at all costs. At all costs. It is the land of God, given to his children for their eternal habitation. We may have failed in the past to recognize this very fact, but now that this generation has come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us from restoring the kingdom of God upon the face of this very earth in the land of Biafra, without apologies to anybody. I understand that the Sarikin, whatever, Sarikin Fulani of Lagos went to see the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria in Lagos a few days ago. And according to the message, or should I say information coming out of the U.S. mission, they said is to foster cohabitation and unity, that diversity and strength. And I want to lay that particular nonsensical narrative to bed tonight before I continue any further. Anybody telling you about strength in diversity, that person is a liar and a deceiver. And the US ambassador is a liar and a deceiver. One thing they don't teach we Africans is this. No country exists on a foundation of multiculturalism. There is no, nowhere in the world. Listen to me very carefully. All this nonsense, even the, the, the crap that Coca was coming up with, Telling you about diversity is our strength and other rubbish. Allow me to repeat, there is no country on this earth that survives on a foundation or a bedrock of multiculturalism. It doesn't exist. That is why multiculturalism in Africa is dead on arrival. It can never work. Because we are tribal beasts by nature. We are tribal by nature. That is why we travel from wherever we are during New Year's, during Christmas, during Easter, during New Year's Festival to go back home where we come from. Because that is where we identify with. Now, let me ask the U.S. Ambassador a very simple question. Is United States of America a multicultural society? U.S. that was created and built by Western Europeans. U.S. was created, should I say, created by God, of course. Built by Western Europeans mostly English people that was fed up with the way of life of the English monarchy. They went to America on many roads. I want to ask the U.S. Ambassador, I want to teach Africans what I don't know this evening. There is no country that functions on this multi-ethnic rubbish. It, nowhere in the world, not even the USA, that was created by people who are not indigenous to America. The owners of the soil of America are Native American Indians. 